So I think Cusco is gonna be a highlight of our trip. Up to Cusco yesterday, it's closing its borders. The first day we were here, there was constant cars going by. So we couldn't walk in the middle of this. We had to walk over here. Police on all sides. So today is day 37 of our lockdown here in Cusco, Peru. We've been here for over a month now. Which is crazy to think because that whole time we've been here, it's all been during lockdown, except for our very first day. So we just wanted to show you guys the difference between the way it was then and the way it is now. So you're about to see some unreleased footage from the day we got here, which was the day before lockdown began. So Cusco day one here for us before lockdown looked a lot different than it does now during lockdown, which is why we want to show you guys this footage. So we just arrived in Cusco and we're on a street corner, this cobblestone road. We're waiting for our host for our Airbnb. So this is our view while we wait. Like the pictures. Welcome to our Airbnb in Cusco. Looks pretty nice. Okay, now we're gonna find some breakfast and we're gonna cut through the heart of the city, the historic center, and maybe check that out a little bit. Okay, this narrow passageway. One at a time. First day we were here, there was constant cars going by. So we couldn't walk in the middle of this. We had to walk over here on the side. And now look at this. Clear. We've only been walking for five minutes and it's already awesome. So I think Cusco is going to be a highlight, if not the highlight of our trip. We've been really looking forward to not only this city, but everything that's around it. From here we're going to go to Rainbow Mountain. Sacred Valley. So look forward to all those things and many more. Good morning guys from Cusco, Peru. The president of Peru just said that it's closing its borders, that all transportation is done starting midnight. Everybody is in a panic starting tonight at midnight. Can't leave the country, can't enter the country. We just got to Cusco yesterday and we had a ton of things planned. Social isolation, where you have to be stuck in your house. You can't walk outside or do anything really. on all sides. So on the first day we were here, we went up this street and got our first meal in Cusco. And now look at it. And we explored right up here. Take a look. I'm almost done with it, but there's some egg over beans, melted cheese over a tortilla, and some cilantro. And then I got egg, sausage, bacon, beans, bread, and papas. This really cool cobblestone road here that's just going up. It looks like we might get some kind of mirador, some kind of viewpoint up there. Okay, we got somewhat of a view. 
We didn't go all the way, but this is enough right here. We're just gonna walk around the historic center a little bit. If you want to find Peruvian souvenirs, Peruvian sweaters, bags, all these very popular sweaters that have all the patterns and colors, then I think Cusco is your place to do it. So look at these juice stations here in this market. There are about 20 workers, 20 different stations. Welcome to Mercado Central de San Pedro. They have everything here. They're selling sweatshirts, they're selling souvenirs. And now we've gotten to the little restaurant section. Look at this. This place is so cool. I've never seen a market like this in all of my travels. It just has everything. <laughs> Street dogs just walking around here eating people's leftovers. Little restaurants. Mix of locals and tourists. Uh huh. So the locals actually eat here as well, which is pretty cool. It's not just a really touristy destination. So I think we're just gonna go back and start <laughs> our lockdown. So on this very street, before lockdown, there were a ton of cars over here. You had to wait to cross the street all the time. And now there's barely anyone on it. Look at this. Nada. Coming to drugstores like this is one of the only things that you can do. So we can't pass these yellow lines here. We got in trouble. So all these circles are outside the San Blas market. They weren't here a couple weeks ago, but now they're all spray painted here. And you have to stand in line in these circles that are six feet apart. Wasn't there before. these stores used to be open. First day we got here, this hotel was open and it also has a restaurant that we ate at. So as you can see, a lot has changed. It is so much different during the lockdown than it was the very first day we arrived. And as much as we loved Cusco the very first day, all the energy, all the people and culture and the busyness, it's also very cool how it is right now. It's super peaceful and calm. And we're seeing Cusco at a time where no one else will probably ever see it like this again. Very quiet and the streets are just empty. And although we feel like we're in a prison in a way during this lockdown, we can't really do any things. There are a bunch of rules and regulations. We think we're probably gonna miss it. We're gonna miss 
a lot of this. We're gonna be walking these streets after lockdown and there will be people everywhere and I think we will reminisce the days that were like this. <laughs> Alright guys, it's Q&A time. The first one we have is from Anthony Ramirez. He asks, how many places have you visited in Peru? So we were here for about two weeks before we got to Cusco. We started out in Lima, so we saw Lima for a few days. And then we took a bus to Paracas and we spent one night there. And Paracas is basically, it's called the poor man's Galapagos, or at least the area around there. So it's a pretty interesting place. And then we headed to Ica and saw Huacachina, which is a little desert oasis. And then from there we went to Arequipa. And from Arequipa we went to Cusco, where we are now. We actually documented all of the different places we went and we're gonna be showing vlogs of those once the lockdown lifts. So stay tuned for those. All right, we have another question here from Brenda Fiorella Cardenas. She asks, how do you guys feel about going to a shop and the owners charging you more since you guys are tourists? Well, I've been traveling for a long time, uh, most of the last five years, and I'm really used to that by now. <laughs> tourists pretty much always get overcharged. So I'd say in most of the countries that I've traveled to, say almost all of the countries in Southeast Asia and India and then now South America, that's just kind of the way it goes. You know as a tourist you're probably going to be overcharged for taxis and at gift shops and those kind of things. So, so we know to expect it. Obviously we wish it wasn't the case because you never really know if you're getting a good deal or not unless you do a lot of research. But you kind of just learn as you go. It's just the way it is. So we're not offended. All right, we have another question from Britamos. She said, crazy that such a hot country gets hail like that. Also, have you had any interest from people wanting to adopt potato ad? We've had a lot of interest. <laughs> we had somebody from the US who was very interested in taking in if it's possible, but we still don't know due to the lockdown and border closures and all of that. We don't even know when we're gonna get home. Uh, my parents also talked about it, but also we're not really sure if that's a for sure deal or not. So we are still looking at options. So nothing's officially been decided yet. There's still a lot of unknowns, so that makes it hard to make a final decision. But we want to hear from you guys if you have any other ideas or options or if any of you guys are interested in taking Mr. Potato Head. We want to find him the best home possible. Yes. Okay, this next question is from Jace Vibe. He asked, could you talk about a moment during your travels when you were down, be it for the destination itself or for personal reasons? I know you like to promote positivity, but I'd also like to hear about those less glamorous moments while traveling. I like this question because although travel is amazing, there's definitely some stressful times that come about and... <laughs> <laughs> a ton. Yeah. A ton. Yeah. <laughs> so um, travel is not all glamorous. So for me, it's probably actually when we found out that we were going to be in lockdown here in Peru. I had quit my job a few months ago to come travel and so I was finally going to be able to start traveling like I've always wanted to do and focus on that more. And then this happened, so we haven't really been able to see as much as we wanted to. So I was in India a few months ago and although I really loved India and I loved the experience, it was really hard to travel there. Um, for one, it seemed like a lot of people tried to scam you. So most of the guys that come up to you and act like they're your friend, they're going to be scamming you. That's why they come up to you. They might even act like your friend for hours or for a full day before they gain your trust in order to scam you. And then as for women, a lot of times they don't really talk to tourists. So after I was there for a couple weeks, I dealt with all these people trying to scam me, but one finally got me. I thought he was my friend, he was with me for the entire day. I won't go into the full experience on here, but all of the India videos are on my other channel, and I have the scammer experience on there too. And if you go to the other channel or click on this video, you can see uh, what happened there. So that was my down experience. Our last question for today is from Special One. He is wondering where our next destination is going to be after lockdown finishes in Peru. So we're really not sure because of this lockdown until the lockdown is over, until borders are opening. We really don't know. It's uh, a lot of it is up in the air. Our plan was that we were going to be in South America for a few months. So after Peru, we were going to go to Bolivia. 
we still would love to do that, but we'll see if we're even allowed to go there. And within Peru, if we're able to travel, we want to go to Sacred Valley, Lake Titicaca, and the jungle. So we're going to travel everywhere in Peru, <laughs> literally everywhere if we're here for months. So if you guys have recommendations, especially the hidden gems that we haven't heard of, mm -hmm. then let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear about it. All right, that's the end of our Q&A. Make sure to like this video. It really helps us out. Leave a comment below, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video. Do you want postcards from around the world? Right now I am writing and drawing on postcards to my subscribers. If you want to join my Patreon, click the link below. You'll be supporting the channel and you'll be getting something pretty cool with a drawing from me. Hey, thanks for making it all the way through this video. If you want to watch more, click one of these videos. Subscribe because I'm traveling all around the world and I'm sharing the whole thing with you. Thanks.